Hi welcome back to PageFly video tutorial series. In this video, I will guide you, how to build a complete Shopify FAQ page, using the PageFly app. I will build the FAQ page based on this page. Overall, to create this page, we need to use two main elements, tab element and accordion element. Now let's start. Don't forget that we have 24-7 in app live chat, so that you can reach out anytime you need help. To create a FAQ page, you need to use PageFly regular page. Create a new page. I will name the page as FAQ. Let's see the first section. We have a background image here. And put a header and a search form on it. So in page fly page canvas, firstly I add a new section. Go to the styling tab. And add a background image to it. Set cover and center position. In the left toolbar, drag and drop a heading element inside the section. And a search form then. With the heading, change its text. And set style for it in the styling tab. Continue with the form element. You can change the placeholder content here. And if you want to set style for it, you need to choose input in the styling tab. And do it here. Finally, choose the section, adjust its padding. Next to the second section. We need a tab section. And inside each tab, there are accordion content sections. Above each tab header, there are small images. This feature is not available with the tab element, so I will build it differently a bit. Back to the editor, add another section first. Then I will drag a tab element inside the section. Go to the general tab, add more tab items. Scroll down and turn on set menu full width. Then click the tab header. Change the header text. Then the font family and font size. With normal state, I also set a while background color to it. Switch to selected state, change the background color, and add a bottom border as I'm doing. And I will add a bottom margin value to make a space, between the tab header and the content below it. Now with the tab content. Find and add an accordion element inside it. Choose the tab content. Remove its border. Now choose the accordion header, change the content. And style for it. Move to the accordion content. We need a paragraph element inside it. Change the content.
And you can see on this page, there is one text linking to another page. If you want to do the similar thing, in page fly, you need to choose the words. Insert the link by clicking this icon. More about this feature, please check our video about the paragraph element. Do the same thing with other accordion items and other tabs. Finally you need to add images above the tabs, to finish this section. I choose this layout section. Add more items until 6. Adjust column spacing. Inside each column, add image elements. Choose the row. And make all images center in their columns. Choose the section and add padding value. The third section is an easy one. You need a layout with three columns, that have the same content style, an icon, a heading, and then a paragraph. So you just need to build the first column, then duplicate it, and finally update content in duplicated columns. I will show you how to build in page fly. Before you publish the page, don't forget to edit the mobile page. With this section, remember that layouts will display, in the order from the left to right, then top to bottom. So the page will look like this on mobile. Because you cannot add images inside the tab items, so on mobile. I will hide these images. Now go ahead to publish the page. And check it on live view. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials. These are other videos on our channel you also may need. Thanks for watching.